So I'm going to make this really quick. Um, it's about um, the sound working. It's about um, VTY and control tests. So we have these programs with uh, VTY interfaces and it's really important to test that uh, certain VTY commands work or that when we configure something and write the config back to file that we don't forget things or write it in the wrong syntax. And also we want to, of course, test control uh, command interactions. And uh, every time I wrote these uh, tests, I was a bit annoyed by, um, by this stuff. The way it's written is like Python code, where you have uh, uh, programs called in a way with config files and stuff hard coded, and then like y you send commands by issuing Python. Co and then, well, the, the short um, summary is it takes a long time to figure out what to do. It's like you, you call a command and then you assert that something is in there, and uh, for example, here. We expect that the answer is command incomplete. And for me, it was a very inefficient way of writing this. And uh, what I did was I would open a Telnet V2Y and start typing the commands I would like to test. And then I sat there and I wished, couldn't I just take this screenshot and use it as a test? And it turns out it's quite possible. For example, this is the Osmo VSC V2Y test. Uh, I took this one because it's still a work in, a work in progress and uh, because these take very long. Um, I recently started, I'm unfinished, but I started to, uh, to change it. Let me just quickly find the regression here. Uh, the <laughs> reading what, what was on the screen there. So here I started to, what is I started to uh, write a test that does the same things. Um, so, oh, I closed the other one, right? Uh, so, like, for example, here the, it, it just tests the VTY tree. It uh, goes into the configure node and tests that, you know, there's a node below that and, uh, like, what the prompt is. And uh, th this is diff format. Don't be confused by it but uh, just ignore the plus in the beginning. So basically there I have a prompt and I issue enable. It just looks just like a, um, a VTY transcript, like as you would see it on your screen. The list ABC is just a to do, ignore that. But if I say configure terminal, I get the prompt and I can walk into the nodes and back out of the nodes. Like here you see, uh, uh, I go into the network and VTS and I, uh, test the exit command going up one level. I test the end command going back to the root level. And everything you see here is verified. The name before the prompt, uh, what the character is, what the node name is here. And uh, of course, the, the replies to commands just interleave. Like it would verify that this is the answer we get. And um, So here is the reply to a uh, write terminal. I think there's some interleaving work in progress stuff going on here. But I have lots of these tests. For example, um, yesterday I, impl I started on the resurrecting the, the mess feed, the measurement feeds. And um, let me just quickly remember. Um, and that's basically this, this I got working yesterday. It's just Going into the network, um, it's uh, listing all the commands and uh, ignoring an arbitrary amount of lines and just uh, verifies that these two commands exist with this config and ignore the rest. Set some config, uh, read it back, so expect anything, go in the network node, expect anything, and this is what we wrote above. And then basically this is my VTY test. No need to write Python code, and it is just run as part of the test suite automatically as soon as this .vty file exists in the test directory. The same goes for control tests, and uh, I think it's, it's fairly obvious 
if you want to use it, how it works. Uh, you can take some examples and um, the stuff below it is the Os Osmo Interact scripts. It's um, actually our first Python 3 uh, implementation of the VTY interaction stuff in Python. And there's a VTY in a control version. And uh, let me just show the VTY one. And there's also uh, some convenience command here, like the we produce the VTY reference XML to use in the uh, the Osmo GSM docs. So in, in the Osmo GSM uh, manuals, we have PDF files that uh, are auto-generated to um, specify our VTY interface. And we generate that actually from calling this show online help command, which generates the, the XML. And so this is just a shorthand like, uh, uh, so I, if I want to use it, I just say X and um, need to tell it which port, say it's Osmo BSC, it's port 4242. And uh, well, um, I could have Osmo BSC running or I tell it where to run. I actually had this terminal open somewhere, but let me just type it again. Doc examples Osmo BSC. Ah, there's the first item. <laughs> so then it would uh, start the program, run the VTY, and it, because it's so large, it takes a while, and then barf, there you have the XML. You can pipe it to a file directly, and uh, so that's the kind of stuff um, that helps me do things with Python 3 and just write tests. So I could just turn it on Osmo BSC, type some commands, copy paste that to a file, uh, replace some stuff I'm not interested in with dot dot dot. There's also um, actually reg access in there. I'm not going to go into that now. And there you have your, uh, your VTY or your control test. And that's all I wanted to mention. Right, any questions? I think it's obvious, but the control protocol is pure text as well, right? As it's a text, isn't it? Yeah, it's not. It's slightly different, but uh, it sort of, uh, for all means and purposes, it, it works the same. So, I mean, we would expect arbitrary bytes, sort of. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's basically as text. The control interface is not very strictly defined. It's kind of an open issue to make it stricter. And submitted some patches once, but yeah, it's also a danger of breaking things that were already working <laughs> because we weren't checking them properly. <coughs> right, that's it for me then. <coughs>